this. This is the top five tech of the year based on what CNET readers researched. So instead of doing an absolute top five, which would sound something like this, phone, 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 and phone, we're going to highlight a few products per category. How are we ranking this? Long story short, I looked at the top 100 products and categorized each. It turns out that the 100 all fit within roughly 10 categories. We'll rank by category, mention a product or two, and then repeat. Count along with me. And number five is PCs. Well, look at that. Computers are not entirely dead yet. While phones and tablets have gotten more powerful over time, it's still hard to beat a notebook sometimes. You guys were really interested in the Dell XPS 13, and who could blame you? It's got a great looking design with a smaller body. It still has that weird placement for a webcam though. Ew. Well, at least squirrels like it. On the Apple side, the 15 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar was the leader. It has a lot more power than previous versions of MacBook Pros, along with that questionable keyboard. Coming at number four is smart home stuff. I was surprised to see the Nest Hello gain the most attention of all the smart home gadgets this year. You can take a look at who is at your door from your phone, plus chat with people at the door from the Hello. The Google Home Hub also racked up the views this year. That's the one with the screen. As for Amazon, its cloud cam was below those two alphabet things. Maybe people aren't researching Amazon stuff like the Echo since people already know what they do. Theorize amongst yourselves. Coming in number three are headphones. The leader of the pack was the Sony WH-1000XM2. These headphones can handle atmospheric pressure optimizing, meaning it helps with airplane use. That Sony is currently battling with the Bose QuietComfort 35 II, which came in at number two for headphones this year. After that, it's time for earbuds with the Jabra Elite 65T. No wires, just two buds you shove in your head. The Elite 65T can survive around five hours on a single charge. Coming in at number two are home theater things. The top TV was the TCL 65R617. Let's look at the review page. The best picture quality for the money in 2018. Well, that explains the interest. It runs the Roku Smart TV platform, has deep black levels and accurate color. It seems like those who were looking for a TV also wanted good sound to go along with it. That explains the Vizio SB3621 soundbar at number two. Let's look at the review page. The king of the budget soundbars. As for streaming boxes, the Apple TV 4K was king of the mountain. And what category could possibly be number one? Say it with me, smart mirrors. It's the hottest category of 2018 and is the most widely adopted technology since the last one. We know what we all see in those products. We see ourselves and we love us. All right, we all know it's phones. And if you've watched this far, you just want data, so here goes. The phone that made you pay attention is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Yeah, really, it's pricey, it's powerful, and it's the last big Samsung release of the year. Next up was the iPhone 10, not the newer 10s. What was number three for 2018? The iPhone 10R. That's the phone that does pretty much everything a 10s can do, including attempting to take pictures of pigeons. As an aside, the only video game system that popped up in the 100 was the Nintendo Switch. That does it for us. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.